Today we're looking at the Journey Instruments J-Uke travel ukulele. Uh, this is a solid Sitka and uh, Ebony. This is a soprano and it is a thin body. It's got a solid Sitka top on it and the back and sides are both made out of ebony. One of the things that makes it look really cool is that it's got a cutout that has ebony that's a, in a cross grain. So it runs 90 degrees to the grain of the rest of it. You'll see that in the pictures. It makes it look really, really nice. The body and finish on this ukulele are satin has a nice texture to it. It's very easy to handle. Uh, when you look at some of the pictures, one of the things that you'll see is that the grain that's on the back of it where the ebony is, it's sort of indented a little bit. Uh, the best way to describe it is it really shows the grain itself really, really well. One of the other standouts about this little soprano ukulele is that it has a rounded back that you'll see in some of the images that I'm showing you. Another extra with this ukulele is that it does have an electric pickup built into the saddle. The fretboard, the fretboard binding, the rosette, and the bridge are all made out of vancle. I'll put the spelling of that in the notes. It has a tie bar bridge. It has inset fret markers on 5, 7, 10, 12, and on 14. It also has those fret markers on the side so that you can look down at them while you're playing. Both the bridge and the nut are both made out of bone. It has a three-piece mahogany neck with 15 frets and it's got that nice cutout so that you have access to that 15th fret. The head is mahogany with an ebony veneer on it and it also has the journey emblem on the top of it. It has open 15 to 1 geared tuners. The tuners have a chrome finish and brass gears. These tuners work nice and smooth. I've tuned this a few times and uh, it, they just move nice and easy. There's no bumps or jumps in them. They're very smooth. This comes with a quill and nigh gut strings installed on it. it. Comes with two strap nuts. One of them is the plug for the electric pickup. The other one is not installed, it's in the box. I installed it on the back because this is a thin body ukulele. This also has binding on three sides of the neck. You'll see in some of the pictures uh, that the binding is right at the bottom of the neck, or I should say at the end of the neck by the sound hole. It kind of looks cool like that. It also has a Van Gogh binding on the entire body. Looks nice up against the, the spruce and the ebony. I was surprised at the depth of sound that I was able to get out of it. When I first looked at it, looking at it and realizing that it was a thin body ukulele, I was thinking it was going to be a lot quieter, but it's not. You can get a really good sound out of it. In summary, this is a really beautiful ukulele. They did a great job with it. It's very nice to look at. It sounds really good. It's extremely well built. Journey also has a concert version of this ukulele and a couple of other ukuleles in their travel lineup. This ukulele also comes with a case. Um, the case is what's I, I did a review on it and I called this case an adventure case. It's more than just a regular ukulele case. It's a case that's sort of, it reminds me of an Osprey backpack in a sense. It's got so many different pockets and places to put stuff. Uh, and it's also very padded and nice on the inside. Um, I ended up buying a couple of these cases because I like them so much.